covers off you know what that means time to figure out uh this contraption here going to put the clutch kit on and start attacking that so we got our cover off clutch is exposed we've got tools that i don't even know what they're called or what they're for in this box so like everybody else we're gonna pretend what we know what we're doing here Got all the secondary and primary tools, pullers, compressors, thingies, Evo kit. They're insanity kit, insanity kit, however you say that. So we've got our fully adjustable weights in here. Spring, bearing carrier, helix, a couple other tools for the spring. We gotta get our belt off, so we've got our handy dandy spreader. So we're gonna get after it, see if we can uh, get this thing together. Grease the one way while we're in there, and um, I'm considering probably picking up some secondaries and just going ahead and getting them upgraded while I have everything off. Um, don't know if it's a problem on the 2022s, but we're in there. We do a lot of a uh, lot of miles and a lot of riding in places that we can't really get any help. So I'm just gonna check it all out upgrade those while i'm in there and just be done with it so we don't have to worry about it all right belts off i recommend getting one of these little spreader tools it screws right into here this threaded portion right there and then you just pull up on it and get it straight and it spreads the clutch and it lets you slide the belt out and over so super cheap tools made out of aluminum worth it if you're doing dunes trails whatever it just makes the belt so much easier to change and might as well just throw it in your little glove box roll with that guy all right you're clutchless on the 2022 so that guy uh primary came off super easy obviously it was just off secondary of course just pops right off so no issues there i think 17 mil 22 mil um and then of course a puller if you're taking the uh, secondary off, you're going to want one of these tools here. Pretty handy. Bryce, on the other hand, a little trouble getting the primary off. It has not been off, however. So, I'm going to do a few tricks here. See if we can get this puppy off. I don't know what brand that puller is. I got the old persuader. Pumped her full of grease. Wrap the threads and some Teflon here. Okay. Oh. Pull her down. I didn't know you probably want to get it. You might want to set this on it and then smack it. That way you don't mar any of your, your stuff here. Yeah, let me uh, get on the other end here. I think we did something. Yeah. I'm going to... Crankshaft. We're gonna retire this puller, <laughs> dude. What a champion, though. It held up. Yeah, it held up. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah, our bad. <laughs> we'll get another one ordered. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hang that one on the mantle. All right, and that's how it's done. <laughs> so, dude, the dead blow though that worked perfect. Yeah. So, trick. We pumped it full of grease till it was dumping out, forcing the puller back out. Wrapped in Teflon. Yeah, wrapped the threads gave it, right here. Gave her a couple hammers. Which the Teflon looks gone. So. Yeah, I'm sure it stayed in there. So we'll have to run that back through to clean to it out. out. Yeah. And then gave her a couple what fours with the dead blow and she in between off. the uh, spiders and she came off. Oh, yeah, dude. Sweet. So if you're in the same boat, you have to just be patient and uh, 
have another set of hands. Yeah. All right, back to where we were, checking all the, whatever those little pads are. I mean, everything's, I mean, trying to move freely. Of course, I won't know until I really get to tear into it, so. Sheaves are good. There's no grooves or anything like that. I mean, there's light grooves at the, uh, at the center there, but that's not really abnormal, so. Shouldn't be there, but at the same time, it's kind of part of normal. I mean, even, see here's Stevens with way less miles and it's got even a little bit. So it's kind of where it starts to engage and pinches. It just wears a little bit. Nothing to be concerned about unless you, it really starts to dig in there, but. Quite a bit of difference in, uh, <laughs> in how these clutches, just their appearance even. So, but I can tell you this one is a lot smoother in engagement. Here's the setup. Mm -hmm. So this guy will screw onto here. Use that on the inside of here. Essentially, screws in. Use this guy to pop it off. Pulls it off. There. Pulls it off. Then you can slide it apart. And the only thing you want to be leery of when you're pu pulling it out is these buttons. You don't want those guys to come out. So just make sure they'll fall off. Oh, this one's pretty yeah, uh, torched. Oh, yeah, those O rings. Yeah. yeah, so I probably need to order some. Yeah, while we're in here. Yeah, just get new ones. So I mean, some of them are kind of beat up, like yeah. they've been. It's just these wearable parts that are just pretty hey, torqued. When you're in here, you might as well just get it done. Yeah. Oh, what do you think? How's she looking? Those all look good. Yeah, nice. I mean, nice. they roll on plastic. So it's not a, there's not any gouges or anything, anything. I can see. So then once you pop all that, this just slides right off. Um, there's a shim here. And then the bearing, there's another shim down in there as well. But, I mean, the bearing you can tell is, I mean, I guess it's dry, but I mean, I'm still getting grease on my fingers when I, you know, when I feel it. So it's not completely dry, but I mean, some people recommend doing this every like 500 miles and I'm at 3,600 or so. So it needed to be done anyway. We've got some stuff coming up this summer and we're headed to Utah. Gonna try a Red Bull race and then uh, going to Arkansas in a couple weeks. So just wanted to make sure, I mean, the nature of us going out in the middle of nowhere kind of, uh, kind of requires that we take care of our stuff and make sure that it's in good working order when we do that so that we're not stranded especially because in a couple weeks i'm just going by myself so yeah we won't have a tow unit or a part unit yeah for this thing yeah so we'll get a couple things ordered we'll get a couple buttons for this to put all those back in with some o-rings and uh we'll get that put back together and she'll be uh, ready to go we well, got the grease coming i ordered like a tablespoon of it because it's expensive. It's like 15 bucks for that little tablespoon, but you don't need much. Just put it in there, work it in, put it back on with the shims, put it back together and torque it onto the crankshaft. All right, guys, we are back. Okay, so Steven, well, first let's get to my unit. My unit is done. I didn't finish recording. I don't know why, I just didn't think about it. So mine's all back together, it's running good. <clears throat> I ended up not changing the buttons because they didn't come in soon enough. So I put the old ones back in and they're gonna have to hold for now because this thing is going to Arkansas in a couple days. So I wanted to make sure it was gonna be good to go. I did grease the one-way bearing, put it all back together, did some test rips. She's running good. So I just needed it back together <clears throat> long enough for that. Stevens, on the other hand, is still apart. We are fixing that right now. He is working on, as you guys have seen, he's working on putting the primary back together right now and I am pulling the secondary roller. So <clears throat> these do have some marks on them like we talked about. So we decided we're gonna go ahead and change them out. <clears throat> Sorry. So 
we ordered some stuff from our friends over at G-Boost, which we have on the website if you need them, discoverpowersports.com. So new pins, and these are uh, G-Boost World Best. They're extreme rhino rollers is what they call these. Supposed to be a lot stronger. You can get them with or without the pins and the uh, washers. But we decided to just go ahead and do it all. And then, of course, a couple new belts. So, uh, with his new clutching, we're going to go ahead and put a belt on his. And then, uh, before we go to Utah in April, we'll put another belt on mine and we should be good to go. All right, got our secondary jigged up here in the stand. We've got it compressed. Just pulled the these three bolts out 13 millimeters had to use the impact on them they're pretty torqued on there going to relieve pressure with a 7 8 and get this thing apart and unless someone can tell me that that's just a you know mechanical thing but you look at them they're all different right. shapes and lengths and different spots on it so right. but, so it looks cool. like all the places it's written on the helix are pretty yeah, smooth, smooth, nothing above down. Nothing so, stands out. So, but we're in here, so we'll probably look at some. Yeah, yeah these are a trouble area. We've, I mean, I'll link the video where I wrote mine, but uh, left me stranded in the middle of nowhere in Utah. Yeah, but. just the small things, the little things. If those guys that want to talk longevity or long trips, and they're, I mean, yours didn't break to what over three thousand miles. Mm -hmm. So. But never had it at a part either. So, yeah. like, might as well just go ahead and do it. Yeah, and that was, you know, doing some thorough ripping, too, on that little short course. <laughs> yeah. So, yep, so, we're here. Might as well do it, get it done. And, like I said, reliability is the most important thing. That's where we're being overdoing it a little bit but and being modest with the tune. But we want all the supporting side as well. So, part of that's going to have to be the secondary rollers. So, I had to jump on the net, get some of these puppies. And we're also going to be upgrading the belt going to world's best so, while we're at it we're going to be hitting we'll the dunes soon so um i just felt comfortable belt out this one's not that bad but it did have a few few spins on it and you can kind of see more of the nylon cord on a few pieces of it and a few little marks where it got a little little warm in a couple of places so still a good belt it's only got 700 good, something yeah. miles, less than 800 miles on it so this will be our other backup good spare belt we'll get us a world's best slapped on there since we're going to be putting down a little bit more uh, juice to this puppy a little bit more engagement with the uh, uh launch control yeah, we're That's rolling freaking rookie with we're live dude you used one of those before no well about three weeks in the making on this yeah. clutch video yeah yeah this took a little longer than we thought uh <laughs> as you can tell we got bailed out by the uh skip and the crew at lipscomb again uh Got in a little on un overheads, which is not a big deal, but I was going on the road and we didn't have time to get this out or figure it out without trying to screw up the secondary. So sent it off, skipping them, got it done, changed them all out to some G-Boost Extreme Rhino Rollers for the secondary. This is the uh, pin, washer, and roller kit that we sell, discoverpowersports.com. We also got our belt, like I said earlier. So now we are going to put this thing back together, line it back up, slap the helix on, set the spring in the right spring hole. This is the uh, Evo Insanity kit. So came with a new helix, bearing carrier, spring. We wanted to change the secondaries while we're in there. And of course we've already done the uh, weights on the primary. So get this slapped together and uh, get it back on the unit. We need to console the instructions, but we got her. To be determined. Yeah, that's true. I mean, eventually it's just going to stop getting tight, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really, though. 
bottom out, which is getting pretty dang close, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Well, can... There we go, boys. Okay. Mucho better. There's some threads to grow onto now. Oh, yeah. Heck. Get the impact. Yeah. We're going to censor the next part. <laughs> that thing does look sick on there, though. Yeah, it's a good start. I'm going to have to get that clear clutch cover. Not run like Look, that. I'm gonna get some LEDs. I'm gonna really embrace the dune life and just not run one at all. <laughs> or drag racing and dune life. Yeah. Yeah, when my belt blows, just. I'll know. <laughs> Sounds excellent. We'll do a quick engagement. That yeah, secondary is not rolling, that's good. Things are spinning. Yeah, seems to be working. It moves. Yeah, we'll just have to see if we can do it like up to 60 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. All right, so. You gotta get all this crap out of the way and get this thing out of here. Yeah, take the first spin. Yeah. What it does, Oops. launch it from a dead stop and two wheel drive. We're live, bro. I'll cut it however I want to cut well, it. Freaking dude, remember this. Okay, as promised, thousand subscriber giveaway. We added some more because RPM sent us some stuff, so we actually picked somebody else that's gonna get this. <clears throat> this is an RPM blow off valve for X3. So, 2018 Stage 3 WRX. I'm gonna message him, and you're gonna be getting this, so I'll get your information, that way I can send this to you. And then, Mio Morales 2633. You're getting the set of Dow Dynamics SSE 2 with the harness. These are sports. These are super nice. So appreciate all of you guys liking and subscribing and watching us. Stay tuned and we're going to have more stuff like this coming. Kind of a lackluster uh, ending to our clutch modification video here. Um, obviously had a lot of issues with the weights and the way the clutch is engaging. It's not my favorite. That amount of spin and just putting 10 miles on it the way Evo told me to set it up and to try it again. I mean, I've had this thing off like a dozen times and shifted weights around per Evo and it's still having trouble slipping the belt, world's best belt, brand new, clean sheaves, everything. Um, it is what it is right now. I think once we get a little bit more power behind it, when we get those Evo tunes slapped on it, the engagement, the power band, everything will be there. It is, it's running fine. Um, the engagement is high, which is as designed, 2900, and then 8100 wide open throttle. And that stuff's working. Um, just a little bit of excess wear that just got me a little leery and a little more fearful. But running 
clutch modifications and more power, you know, there's going to be a little bit more wear. But well, right out the gate, it yeah. wasn't working. Yeah, right out the sure. gate for it sure. Was not, it was not grabbing the belt. Yeah, at all for like, sure. So it's just it's just it slips quite a bit, especially down low. So if you're going doing trails or crawling, it, it doesn't feel it's as versatile um, yeah. because of the amount of slippage that's happening. And then obviously I've got belt temp on a 2022 come standard where you can see that and the split of the engine temp and this sucker does get hot. Um, obviously r wide open throttle, it's fully engaged. A lot of air is getting through it. It runs cool. But when you're just putting around and engaging off on, off on, it's definitely getting hot. So uh, it's a little disappointing. Um, don't know if we've got it all figured out yet. We threw a couple different variations of weights that they said no one's ever had to do in there so to be determined uh, well can i say it's worth nine hundred dollars uh or thousand dollars actually no uh not right now um till i you know get some power on it until i get you know the two-step and launch control which is one of the reasons i got this kit and it all being evo i like to partner with one person on those modifications so it's to be determined um but right now the helix i think is, is a go and the spring is a go but those weights on that primary and the engagement is just not to my liking with the type of riding i do um if you're just wide open on throttle all the time doing it all the time probably the ticket but uh to be determined once we get out there to the dunes on the longevity yeah. of this bringing all the tools and all the equipment we usually don't keep um just in case something does happen and i need to back it back down but We'll see. I'm optimistic, yeah. but we're going to go have fun and get this puppy running and get some yeah. miles on it. <clears throat> yeah, see what it does in the dunes. I mean, yep. I, yep. So. The, the sucky part is Steven is on the list for tuning. The 2022s, you have to send your ECM in, but just not going to make it in time. Yeah, so. yeah. I was talking to the crew at Evo, and it's just going to be in May. So right after the trip, when we get back, was around the timeline. <laughs> yeah. So that's okay. It is what it is. They're, you know, again, they're not willing to work with me. They are answering everything, every question I ask. Um, you know, they're thousands of miles away, and they're not here working on it. I don't have it with them. So it's just a lot of back and forth, which it is what it is. Um, and I can't knock them for the amount of answers they've been giving me and, and right. time they've been giving me. So I appreciate that on their end. But, but uh -huh. stay tuned. We'll see. We'll be out there in a matter of a few days, and we'll have some fun. But otherwise, appreciate it. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Congratulations to the guys on the giveaway. More to come. Um, big shout-out to RPM for backing us again on another giveaway here and a few other modifications coming down the pike. But we'll see you down the trail. Stay tuned.